Mm. Oh my goodness. Man, it feels so good to be home. You know, why is it life works out like this? My in-laws had a front porch that needed to be redone before somebody got killed on it. So this week when it was hot as hell, going through a heat wave, I mean, hot, hot. That's when I had to work on it. And you got the sun, afternoon sun coming through there. Just heating the place up. Burning up. 98 degrees. I know that's light in comparison to some places. You know, I, sorry, I, I don't mean any disrespect. I know some places they're cooking eggs inside cars. It's that hot. As soon as I'm finished, that right now, it's chilly. There's, there's, it feels like the AC's on outside. This fire feels good right now. That's how crazy this weather has been. But why wasn't it like this when I was working on that damn day? It was hot as a mother humper. I got a farmer's tan on my legs, okay? You, you pull down my socks, you see, it's kind of pale, okay? Sometimes life is weird. So we've got our two padded practices, first two, in the books. We had Micah Parsons literally looking unstoppable to the point where you, had, you, you saw him run into Dak Prescott and you worried about him hurting Dak and hurting himself. That man is literally on a mission. We've had some injuries, of course. You know, we've got Diggs who's got uh, uh, the calf injury and stuff. We've got uh, Dorrance Armstrong. I forgot what Dorrance has. And we've got um, Sam Williams with the shoulder. And, of course, we got Zach Martin going on day number eight, $400,000 tomorrow of holding out. And we have no practice tomorrow. They have a day off, which is different from last year. Last year when I went, because last year this time I was in uh, Oxnard. They had Monday first padded practice, Tuesday second padded practice, and then they had listed on the schedule a scrimmage for Wednesday. And it was like, oh, man, we, we got a scrimmage. Going. We got a scrimmage. And it was listed to start at 1130. It actually started at 1030. And it was a walkthrough that only lasted 45 minutes. When most of the fans were actually getting there to see the, uh, the scrimmage, it was already over. It was a travesty. So this time, they just said, we're just going to say it's a day off, okay? No practice. So now there's practice on Thursday, I think, no practice on Friday, and then practice on Saturday. The schedule, it, it's not like it used to be. It used to be two a days, and that was like every day, okay? Now it's kind of like, eh, we got to practice today. Yeah, you have a day off. You got to practice the next day. Eh, this, this is what new football is crazy to me. But anyway, Mike McCarthy is giddy about the amount of depth that they have on defense. And I have to say that, you know, because we do have some injuries, it's giving opportunities for a lot of guys down the pipe that wouldn't get work in otherwise. Now, I know the Eagle fans are going crazy. They're calling Ozzie Smith, Mozzie Pad, and, you know, that, that he's just like doing side flops and everything else. And, you know, they're making fun. They're, they're, they're trying to find anything they can about the Cowboys to give them, you know, to help them sleep at night. Because I think they're actually worried. I honestly believe that the Eagle fans are worried because the way they're talking, they are talking so much smack. Now, I'm confident in my team. I believe that the Cowboys are going to be a good team. I do. But I ain't out there writing checks and saying, we're going to destroy the Eagles. We're going to destroy the Commanders. We're going to destroy uh, the Giants and stuff, even though we beat the Giants all the time. Even though Dak Prescott's 8-3 and three against the Eagles and stuff. I, I'm not out there saying that we're going to the Super Bowl and we've got the best players in every position. I literally had somebody comment and said that the Eagles have better players in every single position. Okay. They're writing these checks. But see, I think part of the problem for the Cowboys has been 
and I've said this for years, if the Cowboys are healthy with their frontline players, they're a great team. They are a great team, and they have been, not just right now. I'm talking about, you know, during some of those years with Tony Romo as well. You can look at uh, 2007 and say, that team was loaded. I want to say 13 Pro Bowlers, not just on offense, on defense as well. You had a couple of all pros on the defense, and Demarcus Ware and Jay Ratcliffe, along with others that were there as great players as well. The problem for the Cowboys have been is we have big contracts for a few players. A lot of times we'll have, like, in some years, eight guys taking up half of the salary cap. And the problem with that is, is when you have some guys that eat up so much money that the other guys, you know, you, you've got, you know, averaging salary of $20 million over here. Then you go down to the guys that have to play a lot of valuable time and stuff. Some of these guys are averaging one or two million. And so you go from a Tyron Smith gets injured to Chaz Green. So your step up of level of talent is way down. And we saw that in the playoffs because, you know, once Tony Pollard got hurt, Zeke Elliott was not that guy anymore. And so we had a great player when he was healthy, when he was gone, boom. And that's been the problem as we've gotten to the playoffs. The depth has not been there to get us through. You lose a Terrence Steele. You lose a Tyron Smith. You're going to a 40-year-old Jason Peters. Not to say Jason Peters didn't play good in some plays, but he wasn't good enough on a consistent basis that you could plug him in and say, he's our starting tackle for the rest of the season. Depth is key. And you can look at the New England Patriots teams that were winning Super Bowls consistently without having a lot of Pro Bowl players. Of course, Tom Brady was always Pro Bowl and Gronk. But you looked around, they never had more than three or four guys that were Pro Bowlers, while the Cowboys would have eight or nine, sometimes ten. And the thing is, is because New England recognizes that it's not about paying a couple of guys a whole bunch of money and having a couple of guys that are incredibly talented and then having chopped liver everywhere else. They realize that it's not just that starting 22 players. We need to have, you know, use guys through 35 and 40 and that we're going to have guys that have a specific role that maybe they're only important for 10 or 15 plays. But that's 10 or 15 plays where another guy is not out there getting injured and getting worn down. And so when they trade away a Pro Bowl guard during training camp, they have another really good guy they can plug in, and they end up getting you know draft picks to bring in more guys. And I think the Cowboys have finally learned that because you see them amassing a lot of talented guys without spending a whole lot of money. Now, we'll see if they have enough to compete. But when you see them bring in a Stephon Gilmore, when you see them bring in a Brandon Cooks, when you see them finding guys like um, J. Ron Curse, that are all guys that fit their system, you look at this and say, we have four really good safeties. A couple of years ago, we didn't have one good one. You can look at this and say, we've got depth at the quarterback where last year, Anthony Brown was a starter. You can look at our defensive line where Tristan Hill was penciled in as a starter, and now a guy like Nabel Gallimore could be on the bubble. We do have a lot of depth. And what we also have is youth on our side and speed. I don't know how many games. I'm not going to be out here with like the Eagles and saying we're going to go 17-0 and then we're going to blitz through the playoffs and win the Super Bowl by 50. I'm not going to be like those guys. But I will say this much that the Cowboys will be. They're going to be young. They're going to be really fast. They're going to be physical. And they're going to be hungry. And you put those things together together. You got the makings of a really good team. 
I know we say this every year, and that's where everybody's going to be clowning us, of course. Yeah, Cowboys, here it is. It's the training camp. Me talking about the Super Bowl. I ain't talking about Super Bowl. I'm not. That's Philly 500 who's talking about that. I'm just talking about being a really good team. And I like what I see out of training camp. And this feels differently than it did last year. Last year, at this time, right now, on this day, one year ago, we were excited as pie because we got Anthony Barr. Oh, my God. Because I, I, I did a video with him on the sideline there. You're standing there holding the helmet. How excited we were that we had Anthony Barr. And now you look at what we got out there now. Oh, my goodness. Man, what a difference a year makes. Look at our wide receiver core. Look at Brandon Cooks lighting it up. Look at Michael Gallup now able to get down the field, who could not last year. Look at C.D. Lamb, you know, being that guy. When last year we were talking about him making business decisions and not sure if he was truly a number one. Yeah. Mike McCarthy's right. Mike McCarthy is right. This team has got some great depth, and they're going to be a lot better than the experts say. Phew. I know one thing. I am tired and I am happy that I'll be sleeping in my own bed tonight. In fact, I'm going to go up here and take a shower and I'm going to go do that right now. Let me say as always from the bottom of my heart, as I tomorrow get ready to go to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and that football is finally freaking back. Appreciate these great days like today. In fact, appreciate each day. I always, people always say, how are you doing today? I always say, I'm great. I'm on this side of the dirt. As long as I've got that, there's nothing else that I can't handle. And I always tell you, make sure you tell the people you love, you love them. Because you might not get the chance again, people. And I love you. And God willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks as always. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Peace.